Okay, Mothbird time once again, chipping away at our insect Mothbird. Guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through, so these are some small bugs, and honestly, oh, there's a Polygonia Leo right there. This is a uh, actually a butterfly that we raised uh, a couple months back, and we're gonna spread this skipper butterfly. First of all, this is our hammock skipper that we reared. Look at that beauty. Look at the purple colors on that skipper. When they fly around for a day, they lose that purple. So that's why you'd like to have a reared specimen or two just to show you what, what the fresh butterfly looks like when it comes out. Inside is not iridescent purple. It's just kind of like black, but we'll show that to you guys. I'm gonna leave her in the hydrating chamber for a day. Okay, folks, it's been 24 hours and we are going to continue our series on getting rid of Mothberg. All right, we have here our Polygonia Leo, our hammock skipper, and we are gonna mount uh, this tropical beauty. Guys, look at that. That's a beautiful, beautiful skipper. You don't see many like that. We've got plenty more things which we're going to mount in future episodes, but we're going to make sure that we don't dry them out. Make sure we get them covered. Subscribe to our channel if you want to get more of this action as we mount and curate a collection of butterflies and moths from South Florida and the Florida Keys. All right, but here we go, guys. Uh, Polygonia Leo. If you've ever mounted a skipper before, you know that they are notorious for having really tough, tough wings to get into the positions you want. And that is because of how muscular their little bodies are. So what we're gonna do on this one, on all my skippers, I always sever the tendons on the thorax that were designed to hold the wings in place. And so right underneath the forewing, where the forewing meets the thorax, we're gonna just little cut. Same thing with the hind wing. There's a little point there, right underneath that point. There's a there's a little tendon, and we just severed both of them. We flip the specimen over. We do the same thing on this side here. There's that one and that one. And oops, he was hanging on. Look at that. All right. Now, what we'll do from here, we will move that out of the way. And I will get a number two. Oops. A number two pin. And what we're going to do is we are going to go right through the center of the thorax. through the center of the thorax, out through the middle of the, the middle of the middle legs on the bottom of the thorax. And the specimen should be perpendicular uh, on the pin. If it spins any direction, it should be perpendicular. Now, um, you'll see when I open these wings, they're gonna open a lot easier because we severed those tendons. So what I'm gonna do, is I've already gotten a board that has the right size groove in the center. And that's about right. So where's my little protom block? To set the body of the butterfly at the right height on the pin, we select the deepest hole, put the pin in, and push it all the way down. And that makes sure that everything looks nice and neat on our in our collection and there's enough room for the labels underneath the specimen. All right, now we've got some of these strips that we've already cut for the inner part that will hold the butterfly in place. You know, they they give you a hard time, they really do. And they're so muscular. The first thing we gotta do is pin this abdomen down. And I'll just do the left side first. Put the antenna underneath the strip. Kind of hold it in place a little bit. All right, now I'll use a pin 
and I will slide this four wing up into approximately the right spot. And that's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna pin this down for now. Okay. When I start to slide this guy on the other side, everything will shift. And we'll probably have to adjust a little bit. So, all right, here we go. This is the moment of truth. It might go, see how it's all shifting? Because all the muscles are all connected. What a tough, uh, and this is when these, these hind wings will split on a skipper very easily. You gotta baby those hind wings when you're doing this. Okay, that is looking pretty good. A little bit more, a little bit more. I'll pin that down, hold it in place. And I'm gonna need to lift this hind wing a little bit, a little bit more. Okay. That's gotta be tight in order to hold it down. Now, this left side drooped a little, guys. This is the problem with skippers. When you pull one side up, everything is connected in the body here, and it will and it will put pressure on the other side. So you gotta kind of play this game with the skip. Oh no, that's not good. My pin came out. That's not good at all. That's not good. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reinforce this here with two pins and try again. All right, come on, baby. You gotta put pressure. All right, I just made a little puncture mark just to hold that fore wing down. Sometimes I cheat and I make a little hole in the wing because now I'll now I'll hold that down. And before, before letting go, I'm gonna go ahead and do that hind wing as well and try not to split that hind wing. I'm gonna get him up into the place that he needs to be. I'll even leave a little puncture mark there on the hind wing. And I'm going to pin this down. And I'm gonna double pin it down on both sides. No cheating. Now, what I can do the, the, I have two pins. Let me show you real quick. I have two pins that I put in place holding the wings of the butterfly in place. They're actually in, they're pinned through the wings. I'm going to take them out now. And as you can see, I don't see any hole because a lot of times the, when the wing is still wet, if you make a puncture uh, wound or a puncture mark with the pin, you take the pin out, a lot of times it closes back up behind it and you don't see it. That one you can see a little bit, but I got the specimen wings where I wanted them, which is not easy with skippers. So um, I'm gonna pull this body pin away. Abdomen is now floating free. And now our hammock skipper is uh, mounted. And we just need to put those strips on the outer wings and hold them in place and it'll be ready to sit for a nice fresh hammock space skipper specimen. Uh, and so that's why I make sure we gotta pin these guys down pretty tight around the edges of these wings to make sure that the wings don't droop. So sometimes as the specimen is drying, the muscular body of the skipper actually tries to pull them down and actually slide down underneath the paper. So you gotta make sure that they're pinned down pretty tight so that the, the wings stay in place. And so it uh, looks like I'm gonna get this one. Uh, think, thankfully, this hammock, spe hammock skipper specimen is going to be one that uh, is to be proud of. So. 
perfect specimen of the hammock skipper. Uh, this eggs were collected in June 2020, Broward County, and uh, they were reared on Indian pond game. And I think this one emerged in July. So, okay, so our Polygonia Leo skipper, we have a label made for her. Actually, that's a, that's a male specimen, but gorgeous specimen. Look at that thing. And we're gonna go ahead and pop this guy inside of inside of our little uh, specimen box here and call it a day for the hammock skipper. Guys, hope you liked the video. You can see some of that iridescent blue on the forewing when you change the angles. In fact, let me show you the hind underside of that guy. See if you can see some of the iridescence or is the label gonna be in the way? Yeah, there you can see it a little bit, the iridescent purple. It's a beautiful butterfly, there we go. Shine off, show off some of that purple. Pretty skipper, guys. Uh, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Got lots of stuff to talk about. Butterflies and moths of the Florida Keys. Check out, check these out. I've got aberrant zebra and an aberrant gulf artillery. Some moths from Madagascar. Pretty cool. All right, guys. Hope you, hope to see you soon. Thanks for so much for watching. Uh, tune in next time for more action for mounting, curating our specimens from the Florida Keys and beyond. Take care now, guys. Bye now.